Hey, this is Parker from testpreppchampions.com, and I'm back today with another GED Math practice problem of the day. And if you're new around here, you want to subscribe. I do make these practice problem of the day videos and other videos to help you pass the GED test as soon as possible. We've been working out of my GED Math Champions Guide free sample. There's 50 free problems in there. You can get that if you want down below, but that's where this problem comes from. So today we're going to find the average and this is all about averages, so go ahead, pause the video if you want. This is a good test of where you're at with finding averages. Okay, hopefully you got a chance to solve this problem, and if not, that's okay too. So whenever you're asked to find the average, note that the average is the sum total of all of the numbers in the data set divided by the total number of numbers. And I'll show you what I mean here. So to find the average test score, and these are imaginary students, what you want to do is you want to take the sum, you want to add up all of the numbers in the data set. So what we've been given here is our data set. So you would do 88 plus 98 plus 72 plus 85 plus 92. Okay, so we want to Again, you just add up all of the numbers in the data set. Okay, so we take these right from our question here, 88, 98, 72, 85, 92. So we wanna add these all up and we're gonna divide by the total number of numbers in the data set. Total number of numbers, what am I talking about here? That's kind of a tongue twister. But the idea is we're gonna count up all of the numbers. So we've got 88, that's one, 98, that's two, 72, that's three, 85, that's four, 92, that's five. So we've got five, numbers here. Okay, so again, just add up all the numbers in the data set, divide by the total number of numbers. We've got five numbers in our data set, and so I'm just going to use my calculator off screen here to do this. We've got 88 plus 98 plus 72 plus 85 plus 92, and my calculator is telling me that that's equal to 435. So let me rewrite this. we got 435 divided by five, and again, I'm gonna throw that in my calculator, and the answer is 87. Okay, so that's a wrap for today. Hopefully you understood this. If not, you'll want to review averages. These do come up on the GED math test. And if you want to get this practice problem, I've got 50 free practice problems and I put in the solutions too as well for you. You can get that link down below. Click that and you'll get that guide. If, Like I said, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That way I'll know that this is helpful for you and I can keep making some more content. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Parker. I wish you the best of luck on your test.